I'm playing with Windows 7 this week and the thing I'm playing with today is the new sensor platform that's in Windows 7. So Windows 7 has this whole new sensor platform that enables sensing devices such as GPS or light sensors, temperature sensors or any other sensor you can think of um, to be an operating system level resource and that means that multiple applications can use the output of those sensors simultaneously um, without the developer having to worry about um, resource constraints or resources being dedicated to a particular application. Now what I'm playing with is actually a Freescale board it's the JM badge board from Freescale and it has a number of things on it it has for example this accelerometer in the middle there and uh, a buzzer just there um, light sensor over here which is also an IR port um, and on the back it has a whole series of LEDs that can be made to do things and these touch sensitive buttons um, down each side there so what I've done is I've got it uh, connected via USB into my laptop and I've got a modified XNA game which just shows you how fun um, how much fun adaptive software can be and now I'm going to drive the car using just the accelerometer so I have to lean it forward to make the car go faster and lean it left and right to give the car some sort of uh, steering if I pull it back I effectively brake and the car slows down now, just zoom in and see the sky. And if I take this handy cloth, lob it across the top there, we'll see the sky change. And actually, you might notice my whole screen dim just at that point because the Windows 7 operating system is also automatically reacting to the lighting conditions. So as it gets darker in the room, my, sky, my screen will actually um, screen brightness will decrease. But you can see the sky is now back to full brightness and if I throw the cross across again the sky darkens. There we go. I'm not much cop at this driving game, especially with the accelerometer. You can see we've got a really dark sky there and now we haven't because we've gone for a tunnel. Side, dark sky, and rip off the old cloth. Woohoo! Light sky. The sensor and location API in Windows 7 is all COM, so it's all native code. But we do have um, .NET classes that support um, that functionality and make our programming lives easier. This is just the racing game starter kit for XNA, but we have the additional Windows 7 sensor and location code added to it, which basically is wrapping the COM API and giving us you know, a whole series of defined sensors here. We've got our light and our accelerometer. And then we can just go ahead and modify um, the input classes of our game to use the sensor values. So you can see we've got a nice uh, class that wraps our sensors uh, providing methods and eventing um, and we can just go ahead and use that for example in the input class here which is the actual class in the game. So we've extended this class um, to provide us with basically accelerometer versions of our x-axis and y-axis force and we use those in the game. Now you can see that we've got some pretty standard elements here for initialization and for prepare sensor and then a couple of other um, events such as when we actually obtain the sensor and when we leave the sensor. Um, now you can go ahead and use those again and again in various code projects. If I step into the car physics class and the update method of that you can see where we're actually using our axes Y and axes X um, force values in the calculation. First of all Y calculates acceleration and X calculates the amount of rotation change that we give to the car so how far it's actually turning. Um, and that's it and that means that our car is now being driven by the accelerometer. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple to use. 
So switching over to the pre-screen SkyCube mapping class, let's look at how we calculate the ambient light. Make a bit more room. Um, so yeah, we're in this SkyCube mapping class and at the start you'll see the very familiar um, on sensor eventing and, and sensor prep stuff. This is the sort of code you're going to add wherever you want to utilize um, sensors and basically it's just getting that sensor um, linkage from the OS and then getting um, the various uh, events wired up and you can see in our constructor for the pre-screen SkyCube mapping uh, class we've just got that very simple um, sort of four lines of code that obtain our sensor and uh, then we can get on and use it. Now we get our sensor value from the on data report event that we've already set up the frequency for and when we were setting up that uh, sensor and then we obtain from that data report basically um, a value that gives us the intensity of our light and that value we use to define our ambient color. Now the ambient color is the color that's applied to our lighting scene for our sky and it's applied using um, a helper so we call our um, render sky with the last used ambient color that's actually the protected property behind the ambient color that we set and then in the render sky here we take that um, set sky color parameter we set it to the ambient color and that sets um, how light or dark our sky scene is actually painted in the game based on the real value